Welcome to the James A. Rogers Library at Francis Marion University. Rogers Library serves as an information center for students, faculty, and the general public. In this video, you will learn about the great services and resources our library has to offer for completing your class assignments. The hours of operation can be found on the library's homepage. As the largest library in northeastern South Carolina, Rogers Library houses over 400,000 volumes of books. Our main collection of circulating books are kept on the second floor. This include our oversized juvenile and government documents collections. Our books are organized according to the Library of Congress classification system. The book's call numbers are located on the spine of each book. These call numbers consist of letters and numbers that identify the book's subject, the author's last name, and date of publication. However, the Government Doctrines Collection has its own classification system called the Superintendent of Documents. All circulating books can be checked out for a period of two weeks, and if the checkout period needs to be extended, renewals can be made at the circulation desk or online. Our specialized circulating collection is kept on the first floor. This collection consists of African American books and DVDs. Our African American collection offers books and DVDs that explores African American history, the African American experience, and African American concerns. The collection also includes fiction works and works by local authors. All items in the African American collection can be checked out. Books and DVDs can be checked out and returned at the circulation desk located in the lobby area. You must always present your FMU student ID to check out items. To acquire materials placed on reserve and to borrow books from another library, you must go to the circulation desk. You must also go to the circulation desk to check out laptop computers. Laptops can be checked out for a maximum period of 24 hours. Our special collection and archives are kept in the Arunda room on the second floor. These collections consist of rare, valuable books, documents, and artifacts about local history and notable local figures and events. This room is always locked and is not open for casual browsing. All of these items are non-circulating and are available for in-library use only. To request an item from this room, you must go to the information desk and fill out a form requesting the specific item you would like to see. A librarian will then retrieve the requested item from the Arundo room. If you need assistance with class assignments and research, our librarians are available to help at the information desk located next to the main computer lab. Our librarians are professionally trained and can teach useful research strategies on how to find books, databases, and other resources for your assignments. If you're away from the library, our librarians are also available via telephone, email, and chat. Our reference collection is located behind the reference office. The reference collection consists of encyclopedias, dictionaries, thesauruses, and other multi-volume books on a wide variety of topics. Items in the reference collection cannot be checked out, but photocopies can be made on any of the three available copy machines for five cents per copy. All copy machines will take change and cash bills. Next to the reference collection, you will find the current print issues of our periodicals. These are holdings of our most recent issues of journals and magazines. Our periodicals are organized alphabetically according to title. You can find periodicals issued within the last several months by lifting up the shelf. Although print issues can't be checked out, they can be photocopied or scanned. Our newspapers can also be found in the current periodical section. Our most recent issues are kept on two rotating stands. Older issues of print journals, magazines, and newspapers are stored in the Reams wing of the library. The older issues are also organized alphabetically according to title. 
Back issues are taken to the bindery and bound in hardback, and each colored volume contains several issues. These issues are not available for checkout, but they can be photocopied or scanned. Back issues of journals and magazines and newspapers can also be found on microfilm, kept in large filing cabinets. Microfilm are rolls of film that are loaded onto machines called microfilm readers. These machines are specially designed for reading microfilm. The microfilm is placed onto the machine where its images are projected on a screen where you can browse through periodical issues and print out desired pages for 10 cents per page. Our Duke Energy Computer Lab offers 50 virtual desktop computers for students' use in completing assignments and research projects. This is our main computer lab. Our second computer lab, called the Collaborative Creation Lab, offers nine additional desktop computers, including seven Macintosh computers. Computers in the second lab contain software, such as audio and photo editing software, not available on computers in the main lab. All computers are connected to one of our three laser printers located in the main computer lab. You can also bring your personal electronic devices such as iPads, smartphones, and laptops to the library and access the internet by connecting to our campus Wi-Fi. To better meet the needs and welfare of its students, the library offers a vending area where school supplies, cold drinks, coffee, and light snacks can be purchased. This area is located on the first floor next to the Collaborative Creation Lab. As the University's Center of Information, Rogers Library makes a great effort in accommodating students with suitable and comfortable work and study space. For quieter and more private places of study, our library offers 22 study rooms that are located on the second floor. Study rooms are on first-come, first-served basis and cannot be reserved. Larger study rooms are also available for small study groups. A classroom with computer and projector capabilities is available for large study groups. Reservation is required to use the classroom. To check the classroom's availability in terms of use, you must contact the information desk. This concludes the virtual tour of James A. Rogers Library. We encourage you to come and visit us to get the full library experience and take advantage of our available services. And please, if you have a question, ask any of our helpful library staff and faculty because serving you is our top priority. We hope you found this tour informative and helpful in regards to your learning experience at Francis Marion University. Thank you for watching.